a blue white stone blade esque deck he's got some counterbalances and some crazy stuff going on he's playing against max jacob who was playing dredge deck that did win last week so we will kind of zoom in here and see oh yes a mess an absolute mess of stuff here as this is what a normal dredge board looks like now there are some zombies in play from bridge from below and we will try to keep track of exactly what's going on here for jacob he also has gemstone mine with one counter on it and a city of brass this graveyard's all over the place so we'll see how many bridge from belows are down there He's got some dredgers down there as well. You can see some stink within and some bridge from belows. Even the old Golgari thug. It's a really attractive looking board right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an absolute mess. There presents, are six zombies. Presents very well on camera. Yes. Easy to follow what's going on. That's why I love dredge. Yep. It's all about that viewer experience. Eric Rill does have a batter skull in play with a germ token on it. Also has Vendillion click. And then a Sensei's Divine top that looks like he's going to spin. Sort of looks like his deck box threw up on the table, <laughs> <Yeah>. you know? <laughs> He's trying to throw up on Eric right now, honestly. Yep. This is one of my favorite matches to watch uh, Joel Lissette play with Miracles is against Dredge because game one he's able to usually defend himself well enough to deck the Dredge player, which fills me with no end of satisfaction. He gets very creative in yep. his wins. It's, it's very enjoyable. I will give you that. You don't know how he does it, but he gets it done. So a little spin here. There's Terminus among these cards. Looks like that's the one might go to the top here for real. Terminus in his sideboard this weekend. And real number 16 on our Open Series leaderboard. He is trying to get some Open Series points to qualify for the Players' Championship. He had a great middle of the year. Wasn't able to get the invite away from Chris Van Meter as far as points are concerned. CVM with a great season, too. But Rill can get one of those eight at large bids at the end of the year if he's able to put some wins together. You see Musser, one of his good buddies, watching on. And this is an interesting deviation from Eric because he, I, I associate him much more with playing Delver Strategies. Mm -hmm. And he's been playing Delver Strategies with Young Pyromancer for a very long time as well. So the printing of Treasure Crews, one would imagine, would be right up his alley, but instead he's going in the complete opposite direction and playing Blue-White Stoneblade with main deck Rest in Peace. And that's how he pushed himself into the Season 2 points races. He won an Open in Milwaukee with yeah. a four-color Delver deck. That's really, really made his push. So to see him not playing maybe a Delver strategy with Treasure Crews is a little, a little surprising, I think, but it's okay. Jacob trying to figure out how he can get these last points of damage across because what's happening right now is he gets another zombie token is that Big old batter skulls blocking the road, man. And if Vendillion Click blocks and trades in combat, well, there goes all of his bridges. Yeah. So he needs to be in a bit of a holding pattern until he can overwhelm in one turn. And Rill can get unique because you mentioned Joe gets unique with his Miracles deck. He can get unique too. So they pick up my batter skull, lose this germ token. It dies. There go your bridges. He can get a little bit unique. Looks like Jacob may be attacking here. Draw a card. Yes, Terminus. And Max Jacob looks like he has had enough. His deck is done vomiting all over the table. He can't, he can't pick them up fast enough as Eric Rill is going to win game number three here against Max Jacob. He looks frustrated, but Rill's going to get away with the W. Blue and White Stoneblade takes down Dredge, two games to one. I, I think a matchup that's pretty solid for most builds of Blue White Miracle slash Stoneblade. I think game one, the matchup is better than a lot of people would anticipate for the deck because it can defend itself, and if it's able to float Terminus, can often deck the Dredge player. And then post-board, if you have the requisite number of rest in pieces, you should be fine. Eric's moved some of those into the main deck and, in fact, has Enlightened Tutor to go get them. Yep. So he's got a really powerful opening game one and then much of the same games two and three. Every win is big here for Real and a couple of other players that are playing in our Legacy Open right now as well.